Okay, before I show you just how easy it is to work this software, what I want to show you is the end result. What you're going to get after just a few minutes of running the software. And the software builds all of this and does all the heavy lifting for you. And it does it in less time than it would take you to install WordPress. And in less time than it would take you to upload your favorite expensive WordPress plugins and themes and less time than it would take to configure them all. Okay, this is really, really quick and easy. And here's what you get at the end of it, right? If you've got the pro version, you will get a total of 12 different squeeze pages that you can use. You can split test, you can change out if you want to, change around if you want to, because you can save your work when you build a funnel. I'll get onto that later, but let's have a look at the process. First of all, let's have a look at the squeeze pages. First of all, we've got very, very traditional style squeeze pages like this one. They work fantastically well. In my experience, often the simpler the squeeze page, the more conversions you get. Okay, so uh, don't be thinking, well, it looks a bit old fashioned or something. This works. Okay, so there we are. Um, we've got it in that style, and we've got it. Uh, this is the, um, the one click style. Okay, so basically you can have it so you. You people put their email address in or the one click style is like this and if you click that it brings up the opt-in form in a light box okay the pro version has those and the normal version doesn't okay so then you've got an up and down one like this which is not side by side and you know it's a little bit different shape and the same with a um, one a, a two-step opt-in as well then we've got, this is what I call the simple squeeze. Now, this is amazing. If you've got a good um, call to action or a good headline, this can work like gangbusters. Um, Charles Kirkland's one of the, the, the best list building guys out there, and he always uses a very, very simple squeeze page just like this one. And there it is with the very, very clean looking double uh, two-step opt-in. So you click on there and it brings up the form. These are proven to increase the conversions, but it's only available in the pro version. Okay, here's the Guru Squeeze page. You, you've got 50 background images royalty free that come with this. You could add your own images in there if you want to. That's the one, the traditional one, and that's the one with this two step opt in. Okay, then we've got video squeeze pages, and you just put the U YouTube ID in, and it automatically puts the video, and it does set it to autoplay. Uh, if I reload the page, going to ask me um, it will uh, auto play the video okay let's just stop that and then you've got the same but with the two-step opt-in here and then you've got a different style of video squeeze page with the video full center and then the opt-in form below and you've got that again in this version with the uh, two-step okay you'll notice the text Call to action text changes a little bit on the two step because you just have, they just have to click a button. Okay, so those are the squeeze pages. Um, you'll also notice at the bottom it's automatically linked all of these um, privacy policy, and if you look down here, it's got it automatically puts all of your details in. So all of the privacy policy stuff is done for you, all the legal pages are done for you and automatically linked from every one of the squeeze pages. Um, now it also builds a monetized download page for you. Uh, this is your download link so your subscriber can get what they came for. Um, and these are banners that you can put in, you just drop the banner code into the software and it places them on the page for you and it also makes the link to your download as well. So let's have a look if what happens if somebody, I've set this with an exit pop, okay, which is an option you have in there. You don't have to set an exit pop, but you can uh, set one if you like, okay, and I'm just going to close it off. In Firefox, it actually loads the, the web page in the background. I'm in Chrome at the moment, so it won't do that. And you can set this message here, automatically makes all this for you. And I'm going to say leave the page, I'm going to say stay on the page rather, and I think I've set it to my internet blog. Uh, and yes, there we are, it's redirected to a, another offer, that would be, okay? Uh, so let's now have a look what happens when we sign up, 
Okay, let's do this one, and uh, I'll put my email address in there. I'll put um, okay, put my email address in. Click grab your copy. Now what happens? We go to this redirect page, okay, which is all made for you. You can change the text on here if you want to. And this is going to redirect us to a special offer. Now, I've, this would be a one-time offer. I've said it to go to Google in this instance, and there we are with that. But this would be now displaying a paid offer to your subscribers. Okay, so uh, that's pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to do now is run the software and show you how easy it is to set all that up. And literally, you're going to be amazed because it takes minutes. Okay, so let's just go in and do that now. Okay, let me show you how easy it is to put this together and how quickly you can do it. Okay, before I start and bring up the software, I've just done a little bit of preparation here. I've made a new folder called EFM2 Pro um, that I just made randomly. This will be part of my URL of where my pages are going to go, so I would probably name it a little bit better than that if I was doing it for real. And the second thing I've done is I've got my giveaway product here. It could be my report or whatever it is I'm giving away, and I've made it into a zip file. And what I'm going to do before I start, I'm just going to plop that into that folder. Now, this folder is where we're going to tell the software to build all of the pages. So when it's done, we just need then to upload that folder via FTP to our hosting. And we're done. One click. Okay, so let's bring up the software and uh, go from there. So one of the cool things about this software is when you make a funnel, um, just by entering in the information, you'll see me do that in a second. When you've made a funnel, you can opt to save it so if you want to come back in the future and change it, or maybe just change one little detail of it, you don't have to put all of this information in all over again. It will load the, the, the saved funnel that you've got, and then you can go and tweak something like change a background color or change an image or something like that, whatever you want to do. So you don't have to um, go through it all again. So, with that in mind, let's run through. I've put, I've pre-put in some stuff here, just so is it, you're not watching me type, and that can be boring. Okay, and it'll save me a little bit of time. So the first thing he's asking is for the URL where this is all going to go eventually. So if you remember, I made that folder called EFM2 Pro, so that goes in the address, and there's my domain name. Next, it's going to ask for the title of a page, and that's default, limited time off. I'm going to leave it as default. Click Next. And if you see down the bottom here, if you're unsure about what it's asking, there's a little tool tip here which helps you and, and tells you exactly what you need to enter. So this is the main headline, pretty uh, straightforward, so I'll keep that one that I've made earlier. Uh, Subheadline, okay, we can keep that one that I made earlier. You just paste this in or type it in. Uh, call to action. This is for um, the Guru page. I'm going to shorten that actually um, because I think it looks better with a short call to action. Next, bullet points. Okay, so I'm going to keep these ones I wrote earlier. So you'd write one bullet point in there and another bullet point in there. And these go on those traditional style squeeze pages and the video squeeze pages as well. Okay, next opt-in form code. You can see here I've just dropped in the JavaScript code for my opt-in form. Uh, you can drop in the HTML as well, it doesn't matter. Uh, and it worked with any autoresponder, okay? Uh, next, background color. Okay, for this is for the video pages and the traditional pages. So I'm just going to choose that nice green that I chose before. Um, and you just choose it with that color picker. Okay, then you need to select the e-cover graphic. Okay, so you, you just click here, and there's an e-cover graphic that I have. So I'll open that and click Next. Now it's asking for the background image for the Guru Star Squeeze page. Again, we click on there, and we go to where we have stored those. And here we are, and we can choose one of these. So let's choose that one. And we're on our way to next. Then they want the it wants the YouTube video. Okay, so this is just the ID of the video that you have to drop in there, not the whole URL, just the video ID from YouTube. Uh, click next. And this is for the pro version um, for the text you want on the button that opens the opt-in box. You know that two-step opt-in that really converts like gangbusters. Well, this is uh, where you set do the settings for that. That's what you put on the uh, button. You can 
choose whatever text you want. And then the color of the text, I'm going to leave it as white. The color of the button, these are already in there as default. That's a red color. And the hover over color is orange. And I'm going to leave that as it is. Okay, do I want an exit pop? Yes or no? Let's choose yes. Okay, and now it's going to uh, ask for the wait message. There's two wait messages. That's the top line. I'm going to leave that as default. That's in those defaults. That's in those default. I'm going to leave it. And that's the second line of the wait message. You might want to put something specific in there telling them exactly what they're going to see if they stay on the page. That's up to you. You can change it as much as you like. Next, um, this is the exit pop URL. This is where they go to if they choose to stay on the page. Remember in Firefox, one or two other browsers, which will actually load up behind the page. Right, let's put my blog in there. Uh, next, do you want to add a tracking code? I'm going to add, I'll say no just for speed. If you said yes, then you will be taken to a page where uh, you just drop in the code. And you can put more than one code in there. You could put like uh, uh, Google Analytics followed by a perfect audience tracking pixel or a Facebook uh, audience building traffic pixel. Um, I'm going to click no. Though. This is pro users only as well, by the way. And uh, now we are we want to know uh, the message that you want subscribers to see at the top of the redirect page. Remember when they're re redirecting to your OTO. Uh, that's the default one. I'm going to leave it in there. Uh, then the other message, redirecting to a special offer, please wait. I'm going to leave that. That's the default one. And then the redirect URL. So this would be your one-time offer. And I'm just going to put in Google for now. But this is where you put your affiliate link to your one-time offer or to your own product. Uh, delay is set for seven seconds. You can change that if you want to. And now we've got the advert for the top of the monetized download page. And I've just grabbed a couple of Chris Farrell adverts here. And you know, if you go to ClickBank and or a lot of other people now on different platforms, I'll actually have banners pre-made for you. And you just put the drop the code in there, obviously putting your affiliate link in. Okay, and now it's going to ask us for the banner code for the bottom. Okay, so I've got one of those as well. I like to put a small banner, a thin banner at the top, like a, a, a square banner at the bottom. Um, okay, next thing, the, the, the zip URL for our free download. Now, if you remember, I zipped it up, and it's called mygift.zip. That's the folder that it's in, and that's my URL. So that actual URL will look exactly like that. Okay, so next, uh, enter the name, my name, and next, oops, you can actually, I've got my uh, numbers lock on, you can actually press page down, uh, first name, my address, 11 High Street, let's say, and the second line of my address is optional, so I'll just miss that out, third line is optional, um, My zip code, county, or state, uh, company registration details, optional, if you've got them, you can put them in there, your telephone number, um, it's optional, I won't bother now, these are all for the legal pages, okay, um, and, the, in, and your um, email address. And we are done. So now all we do is we click next and we tell it where we want to build our pages and we have our folder that we did earlier and we click OK. And now the, pro the program has given us all the pages. Here we, here we have the um, folder and there are all our pages in with our product gift there and even makes the welcome email for you and puts the thank you page in there and your name so you load that into your autoresponder in the day zero email now when we've uploaded this to the web this redirect page would be where you put you put that in your custom thank you page in your autoresponder uh, so when people subscribe they automatically go to the redirect page and that's it job done didn't take long at all and the whole funnel is made with 12 squeeze pages 
everything all linked together all just ready for traffic so grab a hold of this today it's not going to be at this low price for much longer make sure you secure your copy during this launch period thank you very much for watching and click that buy button right now bye for now